Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, my open university experience and a bit of an update. I know some of you follow me for these videos. So I wanted to update you on my progress and what's happening and what's happened this year and what's going to happen next year and the year after, which will be my last year for the Open University degree. I'm doing Q77, which is the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and Physics. And this year I finally finished stage two, which basically, if you don't know, uh, the whole degree is divided in three stages. So if you're doing full time, you do each stage per year, I guess. If you're doing part-time, then you can pick and choose what you're doing and all that stuff. Uh, although they recommend 60 credits per year, so what they recommend is that you do two years per stage, basically. Because one of the years I did more credits than the rest, then um, I'm on my third year and I've finished uh, stage two, which is really exciting, uh, really glad, but at the same time stage three has some other stuff that I need to think about. Basically, this year I only had one module and I did my mathematical modeling module, MSc 210, which I hate it. Let's be honest, there's... I'm basically doing the degree for the physics part and then mathematics is just kind of there. I do like theoretical physics more than uh, experimental physics and that's the reason why I chose mathematics with physics rather than the physics thingy that they have on the side, which is not really called Bachelor of Science in Physics, it's called something else. I'm happy that I'm doing physics with mathematics, but at the same time, when it's just a purely mathematical module, I don't enjoy it as much, and I do struggle a bit more just because I lack that interest, and if you guys know, I do have a degree previously in uh, journalism, I do have a career in sort of digital marketing and stuff, so I'm only doing this degree um, I mean, I wish I could do something with it in the future in terms of my career, but if I don't, uh, I try to tell myself I'm just doing it because I like it and that's kind of it. So when I lack that interest in some of the modules, it's just a bit more difficult and it takes a lot more for me to actually do the stuff. But I managed to finish it and the thing is I do have really good grades on all my assignments, but the exam... It's, I'm not gonna fail it, I know I'm not gonna fail it, but it's not gonna be as good a mark as I would have liked. The only good thing is people in the Facebook group seem to have struggled with it as much as I did and on similar things. MSc 210 has three parts of the exam. The first one, which is just computer generated or computer marked, whatever that is. It's basically multiple choice and if you get it right, you get two points, if you get it wrong, zero points. Part two, it's sort of short-ish questions, which are six points each, I think, and there's six of them. And then part three, you have uh, multiple questions and you pick two of them, and each one is 16 points. So they're worth a lot. Um, what myself and a few other people struggle with was the timing on the first part, which is quite weird, because I did a mock exam uh, the weekend before, and I had like 40 minutes left for nothing, I uh, was quite quick at it, but on the actual exam the first part took me too long to do and I was not able to finish the third part, so there are so many points that I'm just not gonna have because I didn't even have time to do the answers. And I know a lot of people struggle with that as well, so I don't know if it was a particularly difficult exam or if we just all struggle with the same stuff. And I do think part of it is, especially in my case, when I did it at home, because it's a mock exam and there's no real consequence, I would get the answer for my question and just write it and go to the next one on the actual exam. I think I went over it a couple times just to make sure that what I was doing was right. Just because if you get it wrong, that's zero points. They won't get you anything for, you know, doing the right formula and things like that, which on the other questions they would. But because that one's just yes or no, I wanted to make sure that they were right and that I didn't make any mistakes in my calculations and things like that. And also, which I only found out a week before the exam, because I just hadn't read the forums, to be honest. We weren't allowed to take in a calculator with us, which on one side it's good because it means that uh, the questions don't require that many calculations, but on the other hand, they do require some calculations and I do know how to do calculations on my own, like I know how to do that, but there's always that um, certainty that if you put the numbers in the calculator then that's the right number. Whereas if I was doing it myself, like I was saying, I was going over it a couple times just to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes, which even if you know what you're doing, you might do, you know, the pressure of the exam or just, you know, you're looking at the thing wrong, whatever it is. You can make some mistakes that are quite silly, but that's going to cost you two points. And I think I just went over that a bit too much. And 
then I didn't have time to do the questions that actually count a lot more, so there's so many points that I'm just not gonna get for that reason, but hopefully it will still be okay and so sad because my the whole module I was gonna get a distinction, like that my average was even way past a distinction, which on the Open University uh, is 85%, which is really high for a distinction. I'm not gonna get a distinction because that exam I did not do well. I think I've passed it, so that's fine. So that's good. Two thirds of the degree are now done. I have two more years to go, and that's gonna be stage three. If you guys are, I know some of you are doing the degree, some of you are thinking about it and all that. So year three, you do four modules total. Each of them is 30 uh, credits, so you do two per year if you're doing part-time. And the thing about this is that you need to choose which ones you're doing. And I need to pick two physics and two maths. And to be completely honest, I like all the physics ones. They all sound good in their own way. The maths ones, they'll look why bad? I don't want to do any of them. So I'm gonna struggle to pick two out of them and to only pick two of the physics. But what I'm gonna do is obviously look at what themes and what things they're gonna talk about in the actual uh, module and what you're gonna study. But also, quite cheeky, but to be honest, um, I just want to finish it, especially for the maths ones. And I'm gonna look at reviews from previous years and I know there's a page, I can't remember where it is, but it's quite easy to find if you just Google it. Where people reviewed the amount of assignments, uh, how difficult they were, how difficult the exams were and all that stuff, rather than just the content. So I might be a bit cheeky and pick the ones that look the easiest, just because, uh, especially for the maths. For physics, I might actually look at why, what I want to study. I think I've mentioned before, quantum physics, that was part of S217, I think that's what it was, uh, stage 2 physics module. That was quite interesting, I really liked it more than I thought I was going to, so I might pick, I think there's one called the quantum world, maybe? So I might pick that one and astrophysics, that's what I'm thinking at the minute if I'm doing what I would ideally want to study about, but if I look at reviews and those two seem a lot more difficult, then I might try some of the others. Uh, I think there's electromagnetism in there, which is also quite interesting. Relativity, which is also very interesting, but there was a unit on uh, relativity on S217, I believe, and that was a bit more challenging. So I might not pick that one, especially because it's not my main interest. I do like relativity, but I like it as a theory thing, not to actually do the maths of it. So I might be more interested in, like I said, astrophysics, and the quantum world, uh, quantum mechanics, and if not electromagnetism, just because it has a lot more applications and it might be better to study if I want to do anything career-wise afterwards, but like I said, for the math stuff, I might just pick what's easiest for other people and hope that it is for me too, because, yeah. There's one about probability that, to be honest, sounds good, but there was also a unit on um, probability, I think, in MST 125, and I didn't like it, so I don't know. I'll try to think about that, but if you guys have any questions on what to do and previous modules that I've done, so anything stage one and stage two, if you guys have any questions about assignments, um, how the theory goes, how the exams go and all that stuff, please let me know in the questions and I'll be able to get back to you. Obviously, stage three I haven't done yet, so I'm not able to uh, get back to you on questions regarding that unless they're quite general, in which case I will be able to. And I'm happy to do that, but otherwise, that's kind of the update. Losing my motivation a little bit, I think that's just because I did a purely mathematical module this year. Hopefully with the physics one next year. Quite excited, hopefully those would be good and my motivation will be up. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet for more Open University updates and other topics as well. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye!